What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of EMC. I am in the 600 LT. We are going for a drive. And let me start this engine up for you guys because we got the new plant exhaust in and Ooh, that sounds so good. I just want to give you guys a little update on the 600 LT and kind of like a little review, I guess, um, how I feel about this car after it's modded and everything. You guys saw in the last vlog that I got these really, really sick vintage style HRE 505 wheels. These are not as lightweight as the Monoblox, but it looks so badass. I know that a bunch of you guys don't really like it, but you know what? I don't give a fuck what you guys like or don't like because this is my car and I love it. I like the vintage and classic style wheels on a modern car. I also got the KW HUD adjustable springs. That made quite a big difference, I think. And I think that's something I want to talk about. Obviously, it's a little bit lower, so the center of gravity is lower. Uh, when I go around corners and everything, I do feel like it's planted in more. And this car was already on rails, but now it's just so firmly planted. It's like a suction cup on the road, and it's just held down. And obviously, I really love the EMC Incline exhaust. This exhaust sounds so good. The stock 600 LT exhaust just didn't really cut it. It wasn't as loud as I wanted it to be. But now with the 100 cell HJS Klein Innovation downpipes, it's a lot louder. And with the Klein Innovation and EMC X pipe, boy, does this sound good. And I'm gonna give you guys a bunch of sound clips. But the big story of this vlog is, I just tuned the ECU. It's actually a plug and play system. It's a Novatech Entronic plug and play. It's very simple. It hooks up to a bunch of wires in the engine bay. When I am in normal or sport mode, uh, it doesn't really do anything. But if I am in track mode, that is when the Entronic is initiated and that is when I have the extra power and the extra boost. I am expecting a five to 8% power bump from the horsepower as well as the torque. Uh, obviously, mated with these downpipes and the exhaust, it should be a lot better than stock, but you know what? You will never know until you get to the dyno, so... are tingly <laughs> Ooh, okay I want to go to the dyno and see what we're putting down I really want to know how much power we've gained so guys I know you always say on EMC either we are at CPA or we're going to CPA but that's just how it is if you're gonna spend a lot of money on mods on an expensive car you better know that the money is worth it because these power mods are no joke. It can mess up your engine. It can fuck with your warranty. So, see you guys there. So that was pretty good. This is a plug and play system. In Chinese, it's a Y Gua, the Yiga Dianao Xi Tong. 
So it's actually literally very, very easy to install. Now, every time whatever tuner does a plug and play system, they're not gonna go too crazy with the tune. They're not gonna write it super aggressively. I thought I would be getting a five to 8% gain and you know what? Like that's roughly where we were at. Now, if you can tell, this is the torque curve and this is the power curve. The red is the stock pull. The blue is my best dyno pull this time after all the modifications. Now we gained 35 to 36 rear wheel horsepower and it was very healthy. The big difference is the torque. Wow. This is why when I was driving after about three or 4,000 RPM, I could really feel the car pull. And before we came here, I was talking about how the car just kept pulling and pulling and it definitely feels faster. See the pants? I felt it. I felt it not because of the horsepower increase. I felt it because of the torque increase. We got over 116 Newton meters of torque compared to the run last time with the EMC inclined exhaust. The Novatech Stage 2, which is inclusive of their Entronic module, as well as downpipes and a new cat and an exhaust. And I did not use the Novatech exhaust or the downpipes. I obviously have the Klein Innovation and EMC downpipes and exhaust, but it's the same setup. Their max performance is around 7450 RPM. So with 603.87, we'll call it 604 rear wheel horsepower. If we use 10% drivetrain loss, that is about 664 horsepower. Now, if we use 12% drivetrain loss, that is 676 horsepower. So if we use 15% drivetrain loss, that is 695 horsepower. That is awesome. They're claiming 688 horsepower. So I'm guessing whatever dyno that Novatech used was a drivetrain loss of between 12 to 15%. And I think that's very, very standard. The torque numbers here, based off of their max torque of 712, we actually have a little more at 739.7. So let's call that 740 Newton meters of torque. Obviously, every dyno is different. And I just wanted to make sure that all the horsepower as well as the torque numbers are the same. So, hey, money well spent. And hey, big ups to Novatech. I do think that it is a great module. It is very, very safe. I think that basically from this graph, what I see is that it only comes on after 2,800 RPM and it kind of shuts off. It kind of goes back into the stock mode. So basically it does not want to detonate the engine. It does not want to spike your boost. It gives you good usable power between 3000 to about 7000 RPM. And I think that's very, very, very good. And that's very, very usable. So for daily driving, highways, spirited driving, canyon driving, or even at the racetrack, I think this is great. Now, I obviously have gained power, but I do have a big question mark right here, which is after about 7,000 RPM. And as you can tell, after 7,000 RPM, the power is actually less than what I had before. I'm not really sure why. Um, maybe it's just the tune. Maybe they're just trying to be very, very safe with it and they don't want to put too much stress on your engine. That could be a reason. I am not sure. Novatech, if you're watching this, please let me know. I really want to know why the power does not keep going after 7,000 RPM. All in all, I am very happy because I am not going to pull this car over 7,000 RPM that much. Obviously, when I want to have fun, I'm sure I will. And I think it won't be that noticeable, but it's all good for now. I'm super happy. And I just want to give a big shout out to Novatech, to CPA, and to Klein Innovation. You guys are all awesome to work with. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I hope these vlogs won't bore you guys to death because I'm always at the dyno, but I just want to make sure that my money is well spent. Thank you guys for your continuous support. Keep watching EMC. We have a lot of dope content coming up and I got a special guest with a very, very, very special McLaren coming up. So keep watching, stay tuned. I'll see you guys on the next EMC. Peace.